We also have two actors from the most nail-biting series of recent times. As Paul Spector in The Fall, he had us on the edge of our seats. And as DC Bishop in Line of Duty, she had us gripped to the most watched drama this century. And last but not least, she is the singer, author, presenter and judge of the brand new competition, Walk the Line. Please welcome Alicia Dixon, David <laughs> Tennant, Shalom Brune Franklin and Jamie Dornan. <laughs> Full of guests today, yeah. we are. Full, Full of guests. Uh, Shalom, I hear that your friends are actually trying to convince you to... To get a Christmas put, yeah, tree. Just put one up. You know what? <laughs> hey, look, I've just moved into a flat and I don't even have dining room chairs yet, so I need a place to, like, oh. sit and eat before I think about That's a, a fair enough tree. excuse. Yeah, exactly. That's a fair excuse. <laughs> you can get, get away with it. Get yeah, exactly. We'll let you off. Also got you covered for New Year's, New Year's Day as well, thanks to the BBC's new nail-biting thriller, The Tourist. It stars Shalom and Jamie and it'll have you on the edge of your seats. Why would somebody want me dead? You are looking for an Irish man. Are you sure you want to know who you really are? It's nine when the clock says ten. Let's go away You're awake. Sir, can you tell me your name? But you know what, Shalom, there's a lot going off in that clip. We saw car chasers, we saw explosions, Jamie's character was in hospital. Now, obviously, you don't want to give us too much information, but come on, what, yeah. can, what can you tell us about the series? OK, I'm going to try and do my best. This is usually Jamie's job, so I'm going to attempt. <laughs> OK, <laughs> so the series is about a man who's driving through the Australian outback and he's violently run off the road by a tanker truck. And he wakes up in hospital, he has no idea who he is, and we spend the rest of the series trying to piece that all together for him and he comes into contact with some really interesting and quirky characters along the way and I'm trying not to give things away <laughs> so that's going, kind of what going. I'm going to say. <laughs> so yeah. uh, Jamie, watching that trailer, trailer, that's a new one, trailer, <laughs> trailer um, it looks pretty intense, it's a really interesting thriller but actually some may be surprised that there's actually an element of comedy in it, isn't there? Mm. I mean is that what attracted you to the role? Yeah, there is, there is, there's some, um, there's a sort of darkness to the comedy. Um, Harry and Jack Williams, who created the show, our writers, um, they managed to squeeze the comedy in often at the darkest of moments, which I was very drawn to. I think if, certainly if you're from my part of the world, you do find humour in, in darkness. And um, I think we all sort of do that. So um, they sort of encapsulated that really well in these, in these uh, six hours of television and, uh, yeah, it just when you think you know what the tone is, it changes. That sounds really interesting. I'm very excited to watch it, but it is set in Australia, Shalom. Yeah. You moved there in your teens. You yeah. now live in London. So what was it like going back over there to film almost on your, on your home turf? Yeah, I loved it. It was kind of where I started my acting career, so it was really nice to go back. And it it's a lot smaller there, the industry, so I feel like you always feel like you have a friend on set, which is quite a nice feeling. But yeah, it was lovely to be close to my family and friends as well. Uh, JB, I'm guessing, obviously, you know, with, with Shalom saying exactly what she's saying, back in Australia, close to friends and family, she was able to show you around, enjoy some of the sights, but there's a rumour that you said she's the least Aussie Aussie oh that you've God. ever met. <laughs> that was so embarrassing. Shalom, I mean, Shalom, is, Shalom knows nothing about <laughs> So savage, but so true. <laughs> Well, how did but, that happen? Yeah, why, why not? Why? What happened? OK, I don't know. I feel like I just missed a lot of things because I moved there when I was about 15. So I sort of have, like, not a lot of knowledge of childhood things in Australia. And, yeah. You're a Brit. You're yeah, a Brit. I'm, I'm a Brit, I think. <laughs> yeah. With your accent, it's funny because it sounded British and then you just kind of gone into a bit of an Aussie twang. It's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> but it, it's really it's nice, lovely. though, isn't it? Yeah, it's oh, really thank smooth. Thank you. But so... did you have a coach as well to help you with the, to retrain yourself to the dialect? Yeah. I'm so glad you've been told that. I did have um, an accent coach on set to help me not sound too British. <laughs> what I had a bit of sayings or the way you said things? I think Australians are just a bit more relaxed when they speak, so nice. not as articulate. Don't know if I'm going to offend perfect. the whole nation there. Sounds yeah. perfect. <laughs> now, Jamie, I am loving this question here. I hear you've set up a local football team for the dads, but unfortunately, you're not in as good a shape as you used to be, apparently. Oh, harsh. <laughs> that's what I've been told. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's Other right. people know <laughs> Um, yeah, it was during, it was, I think it was the first time last year when they announced that you were allowed to exercise outside again as a group or whatever. 
and there's a couple of dads were around for like Sunday lunch and I said do you guys play football and they were like yeah I said let's we should start a dad's you know five-a-side match or whatever uh so we started that and then last week we had a big grudge match we had the dads against the uh the school staff oh at the so uh yeah we're three nil down one six four so it was, it was a good night but well, yeah did you put one away did you score I did, of course, it scored me. It's all right to me. <laughs> you'll, um, Jamie, you'll have to stay on the line after the show to uh, give Jay some advice on how to score. Oh, so that'll be nice as well. Oh. <laughs> just a little bit of payback for telling him he wasn't in shape. <laughs> That's a low point for me, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> the tour starts on New Year's Day at nine on BBC One.